As the 1960s came to a close and the 1970s arrived, Pontiac Division was changing its overall philosophy in terms of its full-size vehicles. While the division was still building some sports cars like the GTO and the Firebird, or shall I call them sporty cars by today's standards, the full-size lineup was moving in a less sporty direction and towards styling that was far more, shall we say, baroque than it had been just a few years earlier. More specifically, as 1968 and 69 model years arrived, Pontiac full-size vehicles got an increasingly pointy snout as the cars lost the dual stacked headlight look from a few years prior. The look would continue to evolve in 1970 and through the early 1970s when GM full-size cars were redone. The 1970 model year in particular looks, well, let's say a bit strange with the pointy grille at the front of the car inspired by 1920s era Miller race cars, flanked by four headlights and two so-called horns interior to the headlights. But while Pontiac styling was evolving quite significantly during this period, one thing did not, and that was the division's reputation for innovation and offering consumers unique products that they just couldn't get elsewhere. To this end, Pontiac offered, beginning in the 1969 model year and through the 1972 model year, something that was either a dealer or factory installed option. You could also buy it over the counter and install it yourself. And that was Pontiac's Instant Air System. This setup was available on many different Pontiac models. It really was only excluded from six-cylinder cars or the Ram Air 3 or 4. But on any other Pontiac engine, you could obtain this and install it on the passenger side bank at the front of the engine. Part of the kit contained a bracket that would attach directly to the right cylinder head, and it allowed this instant air pump to connect to an engine vacuum source. The vacuum source then would power this pump, enabling you to inflate a tire to about 30 PSI. And in the days before radial tires, this was plenty to get your tire filled and certainly make it to a gas station where you could again check your tire pressure. Unfortunately, few Pontiac advertisements of the era talk about this particular option, but it can be found in this 1970 Pontiac brochure on the page for the Le Mans and Le Mans Safari wagons under the accessories section. You can see it here, it's number four. It says instant air pump, all models, doesn't mention the exclusion for six cylinders or the Ram Air 3 or 4 because those were not available on the Le Mans Safari. It says uses engine power to inflate tire, air mattress, football, etc. You never need to run out of air. It does, however, make a bit more descriptive appearance than the 1970 Pontiac Accessories brochure, where it's listed here again with a similar picture as the 1970 brochure talking about the instant air pump's ability to be ideal for inflating tires, camping, or sporting equipment, provides maximum pressure of 32 pounds before shutting off, and here is where it specifies specifically that it's available on all models except with six-cylinder Ram Air or Ram Air 4 engines. Now, for whatever reason, it seems Pontiac had an infatuation with enabling its customers the ability to inflate tires with some sort of onboard compressor. This instant air pump was just the beginning for Pontiac in a lineup of air compressors that would be installed on everything from the 80s era Pontiac 6000 STEs to even some of the minivans and the Aztec. Yes, I said the A word, the Aztec. And beyond the air pump, Pontiac did have a number of interesting innovations, including this underhood utility lamp that could be fully unwound and you could basically take it around the car with you to inspect any trouble areas that you had and you simply wound it back up and placed it in its holder when you were done with it. But I digress and nonetheless the instant air pump was one of Pontiac's unique accessories that was available during this period that perhaps endeared itself to its customers more than some of the other GM divisions. Unfortunately, as I previously mentioned, the instant air pump was discontinued after the 1972 model year. It wouldn't return until the 80s on the Pontiac 6000 STE, where perhaps some Pontiac marketer or engineer had recalled it from the early 1970s and wanted to reintroduce it. By that time, however, the air compressor had changed from a pump that operated off of engine vacuum to one that operated off of electric current and was 
shall we say, a bit more reliable and predictable in operation. This was also the same for super lift shocks in the rear that were optional on many 1970s era General Motors vehicles. Those until about the late 1970s, 78 or 1977 model year, employed engine vacuum-based pumps to pump up the rear and level the load when some weight was put in the rear. And by the late 1970s, these vacuum-type pumps were eschewed in favor of electronic compressors. One can only wonder why if part of the transition was due to the fact that an increased number of vacuum hoses had been run under hood in many smog-era vehicles, robbing the engine of vacuum and perhaps the ability to pump up a tire or something inflatable because the engine had to simply devote more of its vacuum to other accessories that were more critical, including, let's say, power brakes. All in all, however, this instant air pump just represents one of the innovative features that Pontiac offered to its customers in the 1960s and 1970s era. And it's another one of the reasons that I just love Pontiacs of this era, even though their styling had started to fall by the wayside a bit since the early and 1960s designs, which were particularly handsome. Pontiacs during this 1969-72 era still drove well and were powered by wonderfully smooth and exceptionally powerful V8 engines, the Pontiac 400 being the most famous among them. But in 1970, the Pontiac 455 arrived on the scene, replacing the 428 cubic inch engine from the year prior. And this 455 in 1970 represented the last year on which it could run on premium fuel gasoline. In 1971, all General Motors engines had to run on unleaded or low lead gasoline per corporate mandate. That base 1970 Pontiac 455 engine that was found under hood standard in cars like the Bonneville would, of course, also give rise to the 455 HO engine and the big daddy of them all, the 1973-74 to 74 Pontiac Super Duty 455. But that will be the subject of an entirely different video. Stay tuned as we'll also talk about an interesting and novel feature that Pontiac introduced to consumers in the 1970s, adjustable pedals. Thanks again for watching this video on the Pontiac Instant Air System. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, check out the video thumbnails at bottom left and right for some suggestions for you. Once again, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.